Okay, go. We're staying in front of the Hi, Ashley. I'm Scott. How are you? So Hi, nice how are you? Nice to meet you. Ashley, we had a discussion over the phone. You told me the things that you were looking for in an apartment. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going to love this place. You're going to love it. I let's go so. in. Yeah, let, let's go in. And I'm going to show you the place right here. So we walk into the place, okay? So let me ask you. The living room is huge, right? Yeah, it's a decent size. It's exactly what you were looking for, isn't it? Mm, I was looking for something a little bigger, but... A little bigger than this? Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were to take this place, where would you put the couch? Uh, I would put the couch here. And how about the TV? The TV, I will put it on this wall. On that wall here. So there's enough room for your couch and the TV, right? Yeah. Okay, and you were looking for two bedrooms? Yeah, I was looking for two bedrooms, but I also have, like, this enormous dining room table. So you're gonna yeah, you did tell me about the dining room. I'm telling you you're going to love it. Let's walk through the kitchen. I'm going to show you the dining room next. Okay. That, cause that, oh, so there's you, a dining room. There is a dining room. We do have a separate dining room here. How big is your kitchen table? Is your dining uh, room table, excuse me. It's about 10 people. It's about 10 people? Yeah. Perfect, because this dining room I'm going to show you will sit comfortably about 12 to 15 people. Awesome. Let's go and take a look at that. Okay. <laughs> That's acting, kids. <laughs> That's, uh, did you feel it? Did you feel yeah. that? <laughs> okay, so what do, you, what do you think of this? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it's pretty nice, but I wouldn't have any room to put my china cabinet. If there, I put my table here, then it'd be kind of tight. I have like does, this well, does it, the table must have leaves in it, right? So you can take take a leaf out, make the table a little bit smaller. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so the only time you're really going to have it that big is occasionally maybe, uh, what, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, that's about it? Well, I have a big family, so, you know, I'm big on get-togethers and things like that, so it'll be something that's pretty consistent. Okay, would you say that this this room is, is large enough to accommodate your needs? Um, without my china cabinet, I don't think so. With, uh, with, with the china cabinet? I, I need to interject here. <laughs> You're talking about something like a house. You're not talking Brooklyn. You are not talking the space. Wait, I'm, I'm just talking. saying the space is what? okay. Okay, oh, no, no. <laughs> I need to get in here because you know there's a difference between what people can afford, and so he's going through, and in my opinion, kind of very much like a sales, knowing that there's big dining rooms. He's from the island. We don't have that space here. Your four listings. And from we, the island, man. Your four <laughs> listings that we saw the other day didn't even have closets. No. So those are the objections that... I'm just thinking about Bay Ridge. Okay, Bay Ridge, China cabinet. You have to pick and choose. Do you want a nice apartment in a nice area or do you want to hold on to stuff? Stuff. you got to pick and choose your stuff. You're not having a house in the suburbs anymore. I'm going to find you a very nice space, close to a train, close to a park, other things that you're going to be able to do to use your time outside of your home. Yes, you want to have big dinner tables, but like he says, you don't need, even if you have a big um, family, Again, how much is your budget? What can you afford? And what? Let me get your your best. Well, my deal. previous apartment, I paid twenty three hundred dollars, and I was able to put my dining room table and my china cabinet in one room. Plus, I had a great okay. sized living okay. room. Okay. So, when did you get this other apartment? I got this apartment about two years ago. And where was it? It was uh, maybe four blocks away. And why did you move? Uh, because the owner, he's selling. Okay, he's selling, but you know, with the times that's happening right now in Brooklyn and uh, the, the increase in rents and, and the, the, there is no rent control anymore, so the landlords are continuing, it's not a renter's market, it's a landlord's market, so they're going to continue to raise their prices and giving you less and less space. This space is enormous. Maybe you need to downsize on some furniture. I can keep showing you spaces, but like you said, how many other apartments have you looked at? You will probably looked at maybe three or four or five, and none of them are going to, so far, have not been able to accommodate your space. What you have to do is you have to come to the point where, after we view the whole apartment, then the question becomes, okay, it fits most of your needs. What are you willing to compromise? Because what you want in your price category no longer exists. You know, a couple months ago, I went out to buy a Cadillac CTS. I had purchased one a few years ago and it was $54,000. I went to purchase one now, it was $75,000. So I had to compromise and look at a different Cadillac because the car that I wanted no longer existed for the price I was looking to pay. Same thing has happened with apartments. What you're looking for now doesn't exist for the price you're willing to pay. So my question to you is twofold. One, can you afford more? Can, we get, can you afford more to get you what you want? Or two, 
what are you willing to compromise to get into an apartment like this, which I think you're going to love because it does fit all the needs that you've told me about. Yeah, it does. And, and, and remember, too, nowadays apartments do not come with living room, dining room, kitchen, walk-through kitchen. So these, the fact that this apartment right now has a large sit-in sit dining room as well as the other things, those are, those are things that have been converted now into bedrooms. So you're lucky that you're going to be able to get the couch and the TV in one separate room than this nice spacious room. So is that hutch going to hold you up from taking this apartment? Well, I actually saw something uh, yesterday with this other agent, and it was like a little bigger. The dining room. Was so a why did you take it? Because I just wanted to see what else. So you're was out so there. you're a shopper right now. What can I do Ex to make you commit? Ex excuse me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am taking. I, I I don't make money until we find a place and call your new home. I will take you to as many places as you need, but if you're going to consistently tell me no because you saw something better yesterday, then you should have taken it yesterday because that apartment might not be on the market tomorrow. You and I personally talked about a deal that you had similar to this, wasn't it? A, or was it you or someone else? But either which way, they have to be educated. They, if they saw something yesterday, then they should call that other agent and take it because you can show them this and pretty much everything else is your comps are similar to this if not smaller. You will continue to look for them, but what do you need to do to set, like, what is it going to be so that I show you the next one and we're going to go put a deposit and take the apartment? You're always going to think something's better? I am work with you. You know what I mean? I'm here with you. I'm here to listen to you, but if you've already seen 20 apartments with a few other agents and you saw something you really liked yesterday and you didn't take it, tell me wh what's going to make you take the next apartment. You can't be afraid to talk to them. I need for it to have everything. Like that's right. Yeah, that's a good way. I really like the way you said that. Yeah. And also remember this too as agents, guys. You're not renting the client, you're renting the apartment. Mm -hmm. That the client doesn't want to take this apartment. It's you guys know it's bigger than normal. The comps are great, it's in a good area, big rooms. You guys should have 20 other people right behind it looking at the same space. Mm -hmm. Don't work with that client that's already shopping with someone else. Mm -hmm. Shopping with someone else. And it's not the committed. same thing with sales. I mean, it, it, selling a, a property is so similar to renting a property. Because you're still going to have people like that that want to, I always want to see the next one out there. Mm -hmm. So the question that, I, that you have to ask is, are you, what are you looking to move? What is your motivation to move? And if I show you a property today that meets your needs, I'm going to expect you. Now, we set this reality before you even go out. But if I show you something today that meets your needs, I'm expecting you to put a deposit on that. Are you ready to do that today? Yes. Okay. Well, let's go out and so that now I know what I've done there is what's called a trial close so I know that I'm going out with somebody who's ready willing and able at this point to either purchase a home or rent an apartment one way or the other by asking those questions yeah you with me on that I'm with you on it okay so now we're in this apartment and you saw an apartment yesterday that you didn't take yeah but it fits your needs yeah so now I need to know is what kept you look the last thing I want to do is waste both of our times showing you places that you're not going to take. Both that time is valuable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It so is. I don't want to waste your time. And I don't want to waste my time. So tell me what it is about that apartment you saw yesterday that had the bigger room. That why didn't you take that? Well, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to see what was out there. You know, what else was out there. But you um, saw something you loved, and obviously you didn't love it enough because if you loved it. Why see what else is out there? Well, I wanted outdoor space, and it had like, you know, realistically speaking, it had like a small balcony. So, yeah, I just wanted to see if I could find something that had like, you know, larger outdoor space. All right, so that place didn't. So that place didn't have a larger outdoor space. Right. All right. So let me ask you this: If I could find you that your dream place, and it's four hundred dollars a month more. Absolutely not. That's way beyond my budget. So that's way beyond your budget. Yeah. So let me ask you this then. What are you willing to compromise? Because there's got to be a give and take here. We know that the market has changed. What are you willing to compromise? Are you willing to take slightly smaller rooms or rooms that will not, let's say, accommodate the hutch that you have? What are you willing to do? We, you definitely need the two bedrooms, right? Yeah, I definitely okay. need the two bedrooms, and I need for one of the bedrooms to accommodate a So exactly, a tell me exactly what your needs are. I could 
I need a large outdoor space. I need one king size bedroom, the second bedroom to be at least a queen size. Um, I need closets. I need a separate living room, separate uh, kitchen, and I need a dining room. Okay, and for that, you need to spend exactly how much are you willing to spend every month? I'll, okay, I'll bump my budget up twenty five, if that makes anything better. That will help us if you're doing that. Now, I'm not sure that I can get you now. Aside those things, you absolutely need. You need to have that large outdoor space. Yeah, can I, I ask do. you why you need a large outdoor space. I I have a big family. I like to have you know. You're gonna um, keep them outdoors. Yeah, in the summertime. Yeah. We're gonna go out and we're gonna have, you know, I'm gonna put a pool for the kids and we're gonna have cookouts and things like that, you know? You know, you may wanna consider buying a house on Long Island. <laughs> because now we're talking about a yard big enough for a pool. <laughs> we want uh Well, we, no, we, like a kiddie pool. I'm gonna put a kiddie pool. Oh, and, and one of the things too is educate them on when they want a two bedroom, a living room and a dining room, that's almost a three bedroom nowadays. So then they're gonna to have to understand that for the most part, there is no living room and dining room. You're lucky if a lot of transformations, if you even get a living room. But you know, you guys are looking down in Bay Ridge, so there's apartments. So then when someone says they wanna have a living room and a dining room, you need to also educate them that that technically can almost end up being another uh, extra space, considered an extra space or an extra bedroom. So that is going to up your price from what you're visually seeing as a two bedroom is actually in today's market a three bedroom. Right. So those are the things that you're going to then you can educate them on the cost of how so you're visually seeing a two bedroom but because of that dining room that you want you're venturing into the extra room the extra bedroom which brings everyone's rent up at least five to eight hundred dollars for most apartments for that extra space. And I think at that point what I would do is I would take you to a place that absolutely meets your needs, has everything you want, and then tell you that the rent is $2,900, not $2,500. Okay, so what if I change my area? What if I am, uh, let's, let's go to Queens. Let's do Queens. Mm -mm. Queens Hills, is just as expensive as, 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 as expensive or more. Have I'm you acting like a client here. No, I know, but you. this is when you're educating them that Again, the markets between across Queens and Brooklyn are skyrocketing. So let's get you in a place that's really nice. Remember, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to compromise a little bit. If I find you the big yard and we don't find a living room, would that could be a possible compromise to get you a place that you want, and in the price range that you have. So that's exactly what you have to do. Now, now it becomes a point of negotiation because what you want or what your client wants doesn't exist for the price they want to pay. It's not out there. It's unrealistic. You know, it's the same as me wanting to go buy that brand new Cadillac for what I paid for a brand new Cadillac five years ago. It does. It no longer exists. So I have to amend my thinking. So now it says, okay, I know you told me everything you want, but what if I could get you the huge yard and I can get you the living room, but there is no dining room? I can go with that as long as I can put my table in the. We'll find a place to put the table in the hutch. Okay. But if it's so, if it doesn't have a diner, so now you give me more places to, that we can go look at. Okay, great. Do but, you have anything else for us to go see now? Yeah, I have a bunch of other places okay. for you to go see. Let's awesome. go. Let's go. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> it just doesn't get better than that. I think I'm with De Niro right now. It's just like, <laughs> I just believe. Wow, this is very nice. Okay, so this, this place suits your needs. Now, it doesn't have the dining room. Does have a big living room. Yeah, and it has Out, exposed brick. Outdoor space is the size you like. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I love it. And let's bedrooms, perfect size. We got a king size bedroom right here. Yeah. I've got a queen size bedroom right next to it. Yeah. Bathroom has been redone recently. You wanted this place where you said you want to go as high as twenty five. Yeah. Right. I can get to this place today for twenty four fifty, but we got to do it now because there's a lot of people wanting to see the place. So are you ready to commit now? Okay, let me just think about it and speak to my husband about it, and then I'll, I'll let you know. But I really, really do like this place. You know what? I'm so happy you like it, but here's the issue. I can pretty much promise you that a place this nice for this kind of money, by the time you speak to your husband and you get back to me, it's going to be gone. So what I suggest you do is you get on the phone with your husband right now, 
and either have them come see us right now or give or you tell them that you have your seal of approval let's get a deposit on it because it is going to go you know how difficult it has been so far finding a place to fit your needs are you willing at this moment to let that go at this moment just so i can speak with my husband about it yeah i really need to speak with how about this does your husband have facetime why don't we facetime him right now and do a little walkthrough let's he's do a, a he's an android user you can do a video and we can send the video over to him right now because this is the thing as an agent you were supposed to why were you showing the the property to, to, the, one, to, to one person if it was going to be a dual decision you always want to make sure that, you know, the decision maker, look, if we find you a place today, and I ask you, if we find a place today, are you ready to put a deposit on it? You told me I, yes. I love the place. I absolutely love it. You but know? we had a I discussion earlier. Did I, didn't I ask you, are you ready to go today if we found you the right place? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so are you ready to go today? This is the right place. Are you ready to go? Let's get your husband on the phone. Reach out to him now. Let's tell him you found the place you like, and let's get a deposit. Okay, let me give him a call really quickly. Okay. I'll even send them a video. Let's do a little walkthrough video. <laughs> She's so real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he is like pretty firm on wanting to see the place. So uh, he doesn't get off of work until like six o'clock. So. So what you're telling me is that you're actually willing to lose this place. We finally find you the place you love. Now, you've seen a lot of places, really and you're willing to let this place... I just want to make sure I understand. You're okay. willing to let this place go. I really just feel like you're pressuring me right now. I feel a lot of pressure. You know, I listen, this isn't about pressure. This is about realism. You know how difficult it's been to find a place that fits your needs. Am I right? Yes, it has. But okay. I've seen a lot of great places. And this is a great place without a doubt. But I'll bet those places that you saw that were great, I'm willing to bet at least three quarters of them are no longer available. Great, pl great places go quickly. You know that. You're My right. fear is that you're going to lose a great place. And look, if we got to keep looking, we'll keep looking if that's what you want to do. Because I don't want you to feel pressure. I also want you to be in the home that you love. And if you love this place, yeah. I don't want you to risk losing it. I really do love this place. Okay, so... How about this? Could I put down a deposit and then we bring my husband to see? Why don't we do that? Okay. All right. Great. So Why don't we'll we do, do that? that? We'll get a deposit. <laughs> hey, look, you, I, I hate to pressure somebody into into doing something, but here's the thing: sometimes we know what's best for our client. We yeah. know better for our client than our client knows for themselves. So that's why, I had, look. I'll back off if you want me to back off. I don't want you to feel pressure. However, a fact is a fact. The fact is places that are this nice, in this condition, for this money, go very quickly. We were even able to bring this place in under your budget. So if I'm actually able to bring you a place that you love that's under your budget, it's, the brownie points. it's time to you know it's time to jump on it. Yeah. You know, so let's get your husband out here as soon as we can. Awesome. In the meantime, let's let's give me a deposit. We'll go. I will not take tissues and paper. <laughs> <laughs> will you take four napkins? I'll take four napkins for that, please. <laughs> All right, I got a deposit. Cool. Woo!